My mommy lessons is 1.4. 4.4. 4.4. All right, today, good morning, we're going to be doing multiplying using expanded form. The essential question, how can you use expanded form and place value to multiply a decimal and a whole number? Let's unlock the problem. The length of the day is the amount of time it takes a planet to make complete rotation on its axis. On Jupiter, there are nine and eight tenths Earth hours in a day. How many Earth hours are there in 46 days on Jupiter? You can use a model and partial products to solve the problem. You might remember from doing this from last year. So let's look at one way to use a model. So we're going to multiply 46 by 9 and 8 tenths. So let's rewrite the factors in expanded form, and then we're going to label the model. So 46, if I'm writing that in expanded form, that is the same thing as saying 40 plus 6. And 9.8, that's the same thing as saying 9 plus 8 tenths, right? Or 0 0.8. Step two, we're going to multiply to find the area of each section. The area of each section represents a partial product. So if you look right here, I took the 40 plus 6, so there's my 40, and there's my 6, and on this side I have my 9, and I have my 8. So when I multiply the 40 times the 9, I'm going to get the product that's in here. Then I could take the 40 times the 8, and I'm going to put the product here. Take the 9 times the 6, and get my product here the 6 times the 8 tenths, and I'm going to get my product here. So let's do that now, okay? And then we're going to add the partial products together. So 9 times 40, let's do that. 40 times 9. Well, 9 times 0 is 0. 9 times 4 is 36. So the partial product is 360 for 9 times 40. Now let's do 6 times 9. 6 times 9 is 54. Let's do this other side. Now we have 40 times 8 tenths. And 40 times, um, well, four t 40 times 8 is going to be 32, right? And then I have 6 times 8 tenths. And 6 times 8 is 48. Okay, I want to clarify something that I didn't point out before. So when I was doing 40 times... 8 tenths. I had 40 times 8 tenths. 0 times 8 is 0. 8 times 4 is 32. There's only one space before the decimal, just like in the lesson before. So I'm going to write my point right here. So that's why the answer is 32. Now on this one right here where I have 6 times 0.8, so I have 6 times 0.8, that's 48. But again, my decimal is over 1, so it's really going to be 4.8. Okay? So let's do this. 40 times 9 is 360. Okay, that was the partial product here. I'm going to use blue. Okay, um, 40 times 0.8, that's right here. That's the 32. And then I have 6 times 9. There's my 6 times my 9, which was 54. And then I have my 6 times the 0.8. And that's 4.8, right? And then when I add them up, I have 8 point, and then I have 4 plus 4, which is 8, plus 2 is 10, carry my 1. Then I have 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 3 is 10, plus 5 is 15, carry my 1, 3 plus 1 is 4. So the answer is going to be 450.8. Um, and if you wanted, you could even just... You know, add the, pro the products are right here. You just got to add all four of those products up. So there are 450 and 8 tenths Earth hours in 46 days on Jupiter. So what if you wanted to find the number of Earth hours in 125 days of Jupiter? How would your model change? Well, the number of rows would increase to three rows and it would show the labels 120 and 5 for the factor of 125 because it's going to be increasing. Another way, let's use place value patterns. A day on a planet Mercury lasts about 58 and 6 tenths Earth days. How many Earth days are there in 14 days on Mercury? We're going to multiply 14 times 58 and 6 tenths. Let's write the decimal factor as a whole number first. So here's how you make it a whole number, right? Because I want to move the decimal space over 1. I'm going to multiply by 10 on both sides, right? <coughs> so that's 586 times 14. And then they multiplied it out here, right? And then they multiplied it by 
the decimal point again to get it back to the way it was. Okay, so let's do this. Let's lay it out. So this right here, this product is going to be, they've already given you the answer. It's right here. It's 8204, and now you just need to put the decimal in. There's only one place value after it, so I'm going to put it right there, okay? If there were two decimal points, so like let's say, let's say my decimal point was here, then I'd put my decimal point there, two spaces. If my decimal point was here and there, I'd have one, two, three spaces. So my decimal point would go there, one, two, three spaces, okay? So in this particular case, the decimal point of the product is one-tenth, or one-tenth, right? Because that's what it is, one-tenth, that's where it's at. So there are 820.4 um, Earth days and 14 days on Mercury. Let's look at the hot problem. What if you rewrite the problem as 10 plus 4 times 58.6, or 58 and 6 tenths, and use the distributive property to solve. Explain how this is similar to your model using the place value. When we're doing this, when you multiply 58.6 by 4 and then you add 10, you're going to be getting partial products that's, that's going to be added, and that's essentially what you're doing in this. All right, let's try this. Let's find the problem. Let's use the model. We have 52 times 3,500. So let's make a model. We're going to do the rectangular model just like they did over there, okay? So I want to break these up into partial products. So I'm going to take 52, and I'm going to break it up into 50 and 2 because 50 plus 2 is 52. Let's break up the 3,500. So I'm going to break it up into um, 30, right, and then... 0 0.05. Okay, so I'm going to break it up like that. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a different color, is I'm going to multiply the 50 times the 0.3, okay, and 50 times 0.3, so let's look at that, 50 times 0.3, you could do 0 0.30, but really just 0.3, because that 0 on the end is ins insignificant. So 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 5 is 15, I only have one decimal space to move over, so it's going to be 15 in this space. Okay, now I'm going to take the 2 times the 0.30. So again, I have 2 times 0.3, and I'm going to get 0.6, right? Okay, now I'm doing these two. I have 5 times 50, and that's what's going to go in this space. So let me clear off some of this. Okay, so now I've got 50 times 5. Five ten five hundred. So let's do. We've got fifty times zero five. Five times five is zero. Five times that is twenty five. And I'm going to move my space value over two places. So the answer is going to be two point five. Okay. Now I have two times zero point five, and I'm going to get ten. I get 0 and I get 1 and I have my place value over 2 places because that's where my decimal is. So it's going to be 0 0.1 or 0 0.10. Now, to get your answer, you're going to take all of the ones that you did on the inside and add them together. Remember to please line up your decimals. So let's take 15 and then we have 2.5.6.1. Okay, make sure you're lining up your decimals. So I have 5 plus 6 plus 1, that's uh, 12, right? Carry my 1, put my decimal. It's not going to let me. There we go. And then I have 5 plus 1, 6, 7, 8. And there's my 1. So I have 18.2 or 18 and 2 tenths. Let's look at the next one. We're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to take, I'm going to draw a box. I'm going to break apart 16. I always do things by tens if I can because it makes it easier. So if I do 10 and 6, that equals 16. On this side, I'm going to do 9, and then I'm going to do um, 18 hundredths because it will just be easier that way. So now I have 9 times 10, which is 90, right? And then I have 9 times 6, which is 54. And then over here, I have 10 times... Um, 0.18. Well, 10 times 18 is 180, right? But I have two decimal places, so it's going to be 1.8. And then I have 
Um, again, I have, so now I have 0.8 times 6. 6 times 8 is, is 48. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 4 is 10. Oops. Is 10. And then I have uh, two decimal spaces, so it's going to be 1.08. Then I'm going to add all of these up. Okay, so I'm going to get, make sure I do my decimals. 90, 54, then I have 1.8, 1.08, and I have 8, 8, my decimal, 4, 5, 6, decimal's not going there, and 14. So the answer is 146, 8.88, 146, 8.88. All right, let's draw a model. So on this one, we have 19 times 75 hundredths. So as you can see, they took the 19 and they put the 10 and the 9 there because 10 and 9 is 19. On this one, they did the 7 tenths and then they did the 5 hundredths. So now we're going to multiply. So remember that these two go in here. These two go in here. These two, go, answer goes there. These two go in there. Okay, so let's do 10 times 7 is 7 because 10 times 0.7 is 70 and I move my decimal over so it actually ends up being 7. 10 times 5 hundredths is going to be 0.5 because remember we have 10 times 0 0.05 and we get 50 but we move the decimal over two spaces so we get 0.5. Okay the next one 9 times 7 hundred tenths is 6.3 and then 9 times 5 hundredths is going to be 0.45. Now we're going to take all four of these and we're going to add them up. So let's make sure that we line up our decimals. 6.3 plus 0.45 plus 5 plus 7, right? There's nothing after that decimal. So I have 5, 9, 10, 11, 12. Carry my 1, put my decimal. 14, so the answer is 14 and 25 hundredths. Okay, let's look at the next one. So we can do another model, okay, like this. I'm going to break the 27 up into 20 and 7. I'm going to break the 8 and 3 tenths into 8, and this one's going to be 3 tenths. So 8 times 20 is... Um, so I have 20 and I have 8, 0, that's 16, so this is going to be 160. 8 times 7 is, is 56, and now we have 20 times 0.3, and that's going to be 0, that's going to be 6. I move my decimal over one time, so the answer is going to be 6. And I have 7 times 0.3, and that's 21, and I have one decimal, so it's going to be 2.1. All right, you're going to do the same thing on your own for the rest of them. Okay, it should be pretty simple. Let me just, I'll even break this one up for you. Okay, I have 18, I'm gonna break that up into 10 and eight, and I have eight and seven tenths, I'm gonna break that up into eight and seven tenths. I'll even break up the next one. So I have 23, it's gonna be 20 times three, and this one's gonna be, um, I would do 56 on this side, and 0.1 on this side, so that way you're separating out the decimal. All right. On your own, I will be on the carpet if you need me. You can also work with a partner. Good luck, guys.